I picked up my Christmas secret Santa gift, which was brilliant. However, the message on the tag was very special. To Tim, you deserve more than this little gift. Then why don't you give him more than this little gift? Every day you've shown me strength and grit. I'm proud to call you a friend. Merry Christmas. Love, Secret Santa. Well, that doesn't sound like something that should be on the workplace Christmas tag. Um, what's going on today? I figured we'd start the week off by looking at people on LinkedIn who are pretending to enjoy their jobs. But Josh, how do you know they're pretending? We all know they're pretending because you can't actually say I don't like my job. You wouldn't have a job anymore. The first video we're gonna look at is from a recruiter. And what I've started to kind of figure out here is that recruiting companies are the worst corporate cringe offenders. I am so excited to share that our team is growing. The project solutions team here at Prince Perils, and this is our high volume division and arguably the fastest paced division here. I mean, these are kind of red flags, but if you say them like this with a pretty smile on your face, then it makes it sound like a positive thing. We are looking to add an additional recruiter to our team. So I wanted to share a few of the reasons why I love working here. And believe it or not, it has less to do with the fully stocked break room, the smoothie bar. Oh, fully stocked break room and the smoothie bar. It's not about these low key flex, you know, but. <laughs> the big open windows. Wow, big open windows, congrats. Congratulations. Who cares? The optional work from home Fridays. Optional work from home Fridays? Everybody works from home right now. And way more to do with the people that I get to work with and the opportunities for personal and professional development. So Nothing about how much you get paid. Sure, that doesn't matter at all. It's all about the people I work with. So whether you are somebody who is just starting your career and looking to get into talent acquisition or recruiting, or maybe you have a few years of experience, I would love to chat. It's official, boys. Uh, we now have recruiters recruiting re recruiters. Recruiters recruiting recruiters. Okay, it's my first week at Q2. And this is our new hire box. What? What? Oh my I God. Mean, oh my God. It's stickers. How many companies, when you start during a pandemic, send you stuff? Literally every company sends people a box of stuff now when you start. You get a backpack, a hat, socks, a cup, pen, pencil, maybe a little baby Ruth or something. Let's, let's see what she got. Hi, and welcome to Q2. Congratulations on your new position. We're excited to have you on the team. And we have no doubt you have much to contribute to our mission and can't wait to work with you. Welcome aboard. Q2 and you. Baseball hat, socks, a desk plant, stickers, a tumbler, a notepad? I mean. I mean, you shouldn't have done this. It's a It's a fucking desk plant. It never fails to blow my mind that people are bought in with this stuff. This costs like five dollars to do this. Like the shipping to send this box costs more than the stuff that's in this box. You, you know what I mean? Suddenly you're like, Oh my god, I will never leave your company ever again because you gave me this baseball hat and a pen. Q2 peeps roll. Let's see. Oh my gosh, these are fucking... These are great. Aren't those great? I love stickers. I love stickers for my cups and for my computer. What, were you 10 years old? I love stickers! <laughs> Socks is a funny thing, right? Socks. Socks is a funny thing? Why is it a funny thing? I, of course, needed a Q2 hat. Hello. Totally excited about that one. Oh, whoa. Oh. A pen. Hello. We'll get a pen, of course. Confetti. Q2 notebook. Nice. For all of my note taking. Yes, that's, that's what a notebook is for, lady. Didn't it say what else? Tumblr. And a desk plant. Oh, yep, there's more stuff. There's more stuff. Oh, Hard to see all the stuff, right? All right. Q2 tumbler. Right. I can't help but think that this would be a lot easier if she were to just set her phone down, stop filming vertically, and, you know. Lean it against the wall somewhere. This would be so much easier to do, but. Oh, sorry. This is not the most elegant and bright thing of it. Two tumbler. I look official when I'm drinking my coffee, sitting at my desk. One day in the office again, I hope, right? I hope, right? No, no, lady. Nobody hopes that they're in the office again drinking their company branded coffee mugs. Nobody but you. 
Isn't that what we want to do? Be back in the office? No, we don't, Karen. moment i will be back with a live plant unboxing ah here's the plant that you get what a lovely surprise to be awarded co-winner of the bpc group star of the quarter thank you to my colleagues for the award and to my co-winner work doesn't feel like work work family team recognition thank you bro this literally looks like a an award kindergartner would get or a first grader would get like the stars on here aren't even little sticker stars they're just printed they don't want to give you the sticker stars because that would cost more money how does it feel to be treated like you're back in preschool, man. <sighs> Hold on, kindergarten awards. Let's see what they look like. No, are you serious? Bro, this is, isn't this the same one? Oh boy. How much did this award cost? $7, $7. I thought this was an interesting video. She basically just brags about not having a life for the past eight years. I've been to a lot of different places and I mean, San Antonio's home. My responsibility, I'm kind of like the mom here. Like I, I just always want to make sure like it's still like a comfortable environment. But that's not your job. You're the sales lead. You're not the mom of the office. I'm sure we all know that person in the office that thinks they're the mom of the office and it's not even close to what their job responsibilities are. Do you have any hobbies? Gosh, I haven't had time for hobbies. I've been doing this business for about eight years and- Do goes, do you have any hobbies? And she goes, oh. I haven't had any time for hobbies. I've been doing this for about eight years. You've lived eight years of your life without having any hobbies or anything that you like to do outside of work. Why are you still bragging about working here, lady? <laughs> <laughs> I love water and I love- the sun. Ekmer is extremely glad to reveal that we have observed the highest monthly sales in March 2021. We are thankful to all our employees for their effort and dedication that they demonstrated towards the company. Your hard work is really appreciable. It's like that meme of the boss say, you know, Keep working hard and I'll buy another Lamborghini. This is a slap in the face to everyone there. Thank you a lot for making me a bunch of money. I'm going to put your picture on LinkedIn to show everyone how. How great you are at making me money. All right, anyways, that's all I got for you today for Corporate Cringe. If you enjoyed the video, smash that thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you got more stuff you want me to look at, DM it to me on Instagram, Discord, email, whatever you want to do. That works. And there's some links in the description that help support the channel. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.